What's up guys, Lenny Gale, Life is No Yoke. Today, feeling pretty inspired, maybe even a little motivated. Because today, we're learning from the Vitamix loving, plant-based diet training, podcasting, TikToking couple from Toronto, the plant trainers, Shoshana and Adam Chaim. We're doing three awesome Vitamix recipes for you, but first, I need 10 seconds to tell you that we partnered with the plant trainers on their 28-day plan. So when you use code NOYOKE10 at checkout, You'll get 10% off, and when you notify us of your order, we'll send you our ebook. There's a quick link to it in the corner, one in the description. They do this once per year, spots are limited, and it very well might be the thing that you've been looking for. Okay, on to the Vitamix recipes. First one is a two ingredient chocolate banana ice cream. They shared this on their TikTok, and I said, yo, guys, you gotta show us this chocolate banana ice cream. You make it look so easy and so good. So we're taking two whole frozen bananas sliced into pieces, frozen overnight, and then let them sit on the counter for about five minutes so they're just perfectly, just a little teeny bit soft. And then two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Again, just two ingredients, top on, tamper in. We'll use the tamper to push everything down into the blades. Again, it might sound violent, it might sound upset, but your Vitamix is made to do this. Just make sure you're using high speed. Shoshana and Adam have a Vitamix 5200. That means it has a high speed switch on it, but most of the new machines, variable speed 10 is the same as flipping the high speed switch. Little elbow grease here, but after about a minute, you have beautiful chocolate banana ice cream. Eat it now or pre-portion it for later. Pretty good looking swirl or Vitamix Vortex here. Great with unsweetened coconut, some chia seeds, maybe some goji berries. Peanut butter sounds kind of good or just have it as is. Sweet and chocolatey. Hmm, great one guys. Sticking with the summer theme, we're making a watermelon juice. It's basil watermelon juice. Super easy guys. Take about three cups of sliced watermelon. We'll use two tablespoons of lemon juice. You could probably just use about a quarter to a half of a whole lemon. Throw that right in, you'll get the benefits of the whole food juice here. And then some fresh basil. If you want a measurement, one to two tablespoons, but really kind of to taste here. Kind of the more the merrier. Top on, we'll turn the Vitamix on to the highest speed it can go. If you need one little help from the tamper to get it going, great. Serve over ice. This is great, ice cold. Grab a book, soak up the sun. Make sure you're wearing sunscreen. And if you're feeling like you need a snack, here's the next Vitamix recipe. Cashew Ranch. We've got a similar one on our website and we actually made a video about it a handful of years ago. Here's how they make theirs. We'll add one cup of cashews, soaked if you want, but not necessary. One cup of water three tablespoons of lemon juice. Again, you can just put about a half a lemon in. One tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of dry basil. I think this is gonna kind of give it the, the color, the sort of speckly green that we're used to with ranch. And then the ingredient that makes any homemade ranch magical, fresh dill. Like most fresh herbs and spices, this one is to taste if you want a measurement, one tablespoon. And then one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper to taste, top on. Turn on the Vitamix at the highest speed it can go. Really only need like 10, 15 seconds here. If you wanna do a happy dance like Shoshana, feel free. Great with tacos, enchiladas, or as their kid's gonna show you right now, great as a dip. Guys, stick around for seven awesome and somewhat surprising facts about the plant-based diet with Shoshana and Adam or the plant trainers. And just one last mention of their 28 day plan because they're so classy, they didn't mention it at all in the video that they sent us. Use code NOYO10 at checkout to get 10% off. Send us your order and we'll get your ebook. And guys, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. If you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Hey, I'm Adam. And I'm Shoshana, and we're gonna talk about seven awesome facts that happen to you when you become plant-based. And the reason we know that is because we needed to dive into this lifestyle 11 years ago for an emergency reason. 11 years ago, I found out I had a tumor on my kidney. I had the beginning stages of heart disease. I did a bunch of research, changed to a whole food plant-based diet. And after a year, the tumor started to shrink heart disease disappeared and the doctors thought I was on some kind of medication. I couldn't understand what was going on. And that's why the power of food is so important. And that's why we're gonna share these seven awesome facts about a plant-based diet with you today. Eating a plant-based diet can significantly reduce your chances of recurrence of cancer or getting cancer. 
When we eat animal products, it grows the cells in our body. It grows the good cells and the bad cells. So when we have absence of growth hormones that are growing bad cells in our body, there is less chance of getting cancer or growing a tumor. And we saw that with Adam when his tumor shrunk after one year on a plant-based diet. Eating a plant-based diet could help reduce chronic disease by 80% because the food that you consume, the plants, they are so high in phytonutrients, in fiber, and because of that, they are anti-inflammatory and allow your body to repair itself rather than make it sick. You can have improved heart health. When you're eating foods that do not contain cholesterol, you're going to have cleaner arteries, better blood flow, and your heart is going to function at a more optimal level. We see people whose blood pressure comes down, whose cholesterols come down, and their body is thanking them for it. Eating a plant-based diet can actually help you lose weight. It's actually one of the byproducts of all the benefits that you get from this type of lifestyle. The weight comes off and you don't even realize that it's happening because you're eating such nutrient-dense food that is not calorie-rich. When you eat a plant-based diet, your ability to sleep better and your energy levels are so much different. They are through the roof. You're going to be feeding yourself with all the phytonutrients that you need for your body to have the energy to take part in those activities you love. You're gonna be sleeping better at night, which means that all your hormones are gonna be doing the right thing. You're gonna wake up more energized in the morning and start again. It is cyclical and it is amazing. Eating a plant-based diet can make your skin better. Whether that's skin on your face or rashes on your arms, when I went plant-based, it was the first time in my life I had gotten rid of my teenage acne and I was in my 30s. When you feed the body what it needs, the body thanks you and what better thanks than hydrated, beautiful, smooth skin. It's the power of food. One of the amazing benefits of a plant-based diet is how fast your body recovers from its exercise, its fitness. When I was training for my Ironman triathlons, I was recovering so fast that I was able to train harder and closer together. Before I started that plant-based diet, <laughs> there I complained so all the time. so much less whining about sore muscles and give me a massage and I need a salt bath. It was great. The amount of inflammation that is no longer there because of the food that you're consuming allows you to train more, faster, recover, not feel those aches and pains as much. It's such a great benefit to the plant-based diet. I'm sure that there is one awesome fact that really spoke to you today about eating a plant-based diet that might make you consider eating a little bit more plant-heavy going forward. Good luck. So all these awesome facts about a plant-based diet are not unique to us as individuals. These results are seen all over the world in so many other people. Science shows that places around the world that eat predominantly plant-based diets have people who live longer but also have better quality of life and less incident of chronic disease. And not only that, this way of life, this diet has such an impact on our planet on the environment, on the animals that live here. So it's not just us that we're helping, we're helping the planet as a whole. Hey, I'm Shoshana Chaim from Plant Trainers. Today we're going to be making chocolate banana and ice cream using the Vitamix. So I cut up a whole bunch of bananas last night and I put them in the freezer. It's important to make sure that you peel them first or you're gonna get stuck peeling off those frozen peels and nobody likes doing that. All right, I'm gonna put the equivalent of two bananas into the Vitamix and I let them sit out on the counter for approximately five minutes before to get just a tiny bit of softness in there. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cocoa powder right into there. And guys, that is it. Those are all the ingredients. There's only two ingredients. You're gonna take your Vitamix cover, pop that little part off and put it on. And then we're going to turn on the Vitamix and we're going to put it up to 10 and then we're gonna put it on the highest and then take our tamper. Ready? Let's do it.
Awesome. I let it keep going until it was able to swirl on its own. And there we go. Ooh, that beautiful swirl inside. Love that. I like to top it off with some unsweetened coconut flakes, some chia seeds, some hemp hearts, maybe even some, I don't know, goji berries. I don't know what I'm feeling today, but I'm telling you, it is delicious. Enjoy. Hey, I'm Shoshana from Plant Trainers, and we are going to make a watermelon basil drink. This is amazing if you have watermelon that's going bad in the fridge. This is amazing to serve on the patio on a hot day, and it's amazing for after workouts to rehydrate. So here we go. I have about three cups of watermelon already chopped up. Going to put that in. Then I'm going to put in two tablespoons of lemon juice and then about one to two tablespoons of basil, depending on how much you like. There we go, that's nice and fresh. Okay, I'm gonna put on the top, and then I'm gonna turn it on, so it's gonna get loud for a minute, but maybe you'll dance with me. so that it is nice and cold and enjoy. Hey, I'm Shoshana Chain from Plant Chainers and today we are making a cashew ranch. We like to use these on our nachos. We like to put it in our seven layer dip, in our burritos, you name it, even on salads. There is a place for this cashew ranch. All right, we're gonna start with one cup of cashews and one cup of water. There we go. Three tablespoons of lemon juice. And we're going to put in one tablespoon of onion powder. Woo. Also, we will be putting in one teaspoon of garlic powder. Yes, and basil, some dried basil is what we use in this house. But I love to use fresh dill as much fresh dill as you'd like, somewhere between one to two tablespoons is good too. We're gonna use one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use regular white vinegar as well. And then, depending on how much salt you normally use, you could use some salt to taste and some pepper to taste too. I feel like it's a workout for my wrist over here. All right, we're going to put on the cover of the Vitamix and we are going to turn it on high for about 10 to 15 seconds. Ready? <laughs> into a glass jar and it can keep in the fridge up to a week. And the other way that get, gets used a lot in our house is that the children love to use it for a dip for their veggies. Hey, doesn't last long. See you later, bye.